Hey guys, it's Angie. So this is a big box of auction winnings I had from the new app, Whatnot. This is probably kind of a unique auction in that everything in here is plush. But I wanted to give you a view of what Whatnot is and tell you what I think the positives and negatives are and then my overall opinion. Plus, if you wait to the end, I will give you a code so you can save $10 off your first purchase just for clicking on the link. Okay, let's get started. Whatnot is an app that recently started originally selling just Funko Pops. Now they have expanded into other categories. It's now becoming the newest craze for resellers and buyers. So if you like to go to live auctions, but don't actually want to go and sit there, Whatnot is definitely a place for you. You're going to see different sellers selling many different categories, all with 30 to 60 second intervals. So it's super fast moving. Now I have purchased from several different auctions now, and I just wanted to do an opening of this latest auction and let you know what I think. I purchased stuffed animals on this one, some plushies, which I thought was kind of unique for the site because they don't necessarily have that category. But I was pretty happy with some of them and fingers crossed they actually are in good condition. Let's start by opening the box and then we'll talk about whatnot. So this box I paid $40 including shipping. Now the way whatnot works is the first item that you purchase on an auction is going to have a flat rate shipping. Whether it's something light and could be $3.50 or something heavier that costs $8. The great thing is every item after that that you purchase in that auction is only $1 to ship. Which is really fun when you're purchasing multiple items. Get to an auction early, buy one thing for low price, and then every time after that you know shipping is a buck which makes it so much nice because a lot of times you do these YouTube auctions and you just never know what you're going to end up spending. Here you know exactly how much it's going to be. So let's open this thing. easier to do it this way. Okay, we started with some paper. It comes with a packing slip that shows you everything I purchased and you can see my prices, how low I paid. The most I paid was five dollars for something, so that's pretty good. So for my packing slip, it looks like I purchased 11 items. Average price then, I paid forty dollars for the whole box because the first item I bought was eight 50 for shipping and then add a dollar for each item so it came right to $40 for everything but I got some unique things so let's see the first thing I got was this Build-A-Bear it's actually pretty unique this one has not been around for a while it's an ocean scene which is pretty nice and the next thing I got was this and the reason I got him is because he is brand new with tags he is a pillow pet Disney Junior and he is in perfect condition even says pillow pet and Disney right there oh I picked up lamb chop it's a puppet that's an oldie Ollie you can't get those my Oliver is down here trying to get all the plush this is one she offered and at first she tried to do him for a dollar and nobody wanted it but she put the two together for two dollars and I didn't mind that because I'm only paying a dollar extra so three dollars for both of them which I thought was a good deal and this one still has the tags on but I think they'll do, go really well together as a set. This one is Dr. Seuss. From, it's a Kohl's Care one and I just thought it was too cute. Now this one I was super happy about, but unfortunately his shirt on the back is really dirty. Luckily my mom is great at getting things out, so I will put her to work on that and say please fix him. This is the first one that I bought. He was a dollar and $3.50 for shipping, so I knew that when I bought him I'd be buying more since it was just a plush auction. Then this is an Avon teddy bear. Still has the little tags, really good condition. Happy with this so far. This is a cutie from the Chipmunks. I can't remember her name, but 
very cute. This one I was super happy to get. Look at that, the wings stay out. It's a Harry Potter one. Great condition, has the tag. Then the best item that I picked up for the day was this guy right here. He's 1995 Happiness Express Club. And I was quickly looking up comps and was super happy with what he sells for. Now Whatnot is an auction basically on your phone. You would go there and people are live showing up off their items. It's kind of nice because it's super fast paced, 30 seconds to 60 seconds per auction. So you gotta be fast. One of the cons for me, now if you log into the Whatnot app, you can see all of the categories that they currently have. They have trading cards, sports, which is also going to be mostly cards, football, baseball, soccer, wrestling. There is some sports memorabilia. Toys right now is mostly going to be Funko Pops and action figures, but I did see that they do have Lego and diecast cars now. Comics is, and books also going to be mostly graphic novels, anything mangas and things like that. Retro games, wax, I can't even tell you what wax means. And whatnot, which right now is coins, mechanical keyboards, vinyl records. I did find that they just updated the fashion section. They did have vintage clothes, sneakers, streetwear. They added designer bags, but total of two shows. One is over a week away and one is several weeks away. But they added a brand new section called thrifting completely empty right now, but I would imagine that one is going to fill up fast once people realize that they can list thrifting items in this category. Let me give you the pros and cons I think about whatnot. The positives are definitely that it's unique items. It's a super fast pace. Unlike YouTube auctions that one item can drag on for 20 minutes or longer, this is something that you can easily go through 40, 50 items in an hour. As a seller, it's a great place to unload excess inventory that you have. And I saw a lot of auctions where things are going for higher than they do on eBay, but that's not always the case. Another good thing about Whatnot is you can find some serious bargains, especially when you find an auction where there's not very many people or someone doesn't have a whole lot of followers. A lot of times you can get steals. So far, these are the items that I think are the negatives about Whatnot. Number one is you can outbid yourself. I learned this the hard way. I was trying to win a hat for my dad on an auction and I hit bid. And then the bar kept coming up and I wasn't paying that much attention and kept hitting it, <laughs> thinking that other people were outbidding me. No, they weren't. I was outbidding myself. So be careful when you're in there that you don't accidentally outbid yourself on an item. I ended up buying that hat for $8 plus shipping when I probably could have got it for like four. <laughs> Oh well, live and learn. Now, if you want to bid it up quickly, you can do it that way, but just be careful with that because you definitely can outbid yourself. Another negative for me is not all sellers are created equal. Some sellers will get an item out, show the item, put it on a turntable, spin it around, give all the details of what year, any defects, then start the auction. Then you have 30 seconds to 60 seconds to bid. Unfortunately, with this plush auction, I think the seller was kind of new. So they would say, we have this and start. Unfortunately, that's not enough time to then go and try to find the name on the tag, what year, look for flaws. It seemed like they were still talking about the item, just general specifics about it. And the auction was already over 30 seconds prior. So that's something that I think is just a learning experience and people will get better as they do more auctions. My biggest complaint so far on Whatnot is hopefully just a growing pain. Right now the categories are very male and gamer leaning. So there are categories for trading cards, video games, action figures, vintage t-shirts, sneakers, 
really kind of male dominated categories. I wish there were some women centered categories, but here's my thoughts. eBay started 26 years ago as a place to sell Pez dispensers and whatnot started as a place to sell Funko Pops. So I think as it gets bigger and as it grows, they will add new categories which is great for me because honestly, I don't sell a lot of the categories that they currently have listed on there. Hopefully as they grow, I can look into being a seller on there, but right now I'm just having fun and being a buyer. Here's something I love about Whatnot. If you wanna go try them out, make your first purchase, see what you think, you can do that for free. If you click on my link below, it will give you $10 to use on any auction. I got my link from someone and now you can get your link from me. It's a great way to try it out. I bought a pair of shoes for 100% free by using this coupon and you could go on there and find something as well. I have linked in the comments and the description bar the link for the whatnot so you can go ahead and sign up and get your first $10 for free. I can tell you that so far I have not applied to be a seller, but I do know that there is a little bit of a wait time. You apply, you show them some of the items that you would like to sell, give them an idea of where your highest social media platform is, whether it's Instagram, eBay, YouTube, and then they review your application and get back to you. Not sure what the process is, but they've been growing significantly, so it's a little bit of a delay. I do love that when you are doing your auction, folks have to pay the WhatNot app immediately. Every single time you purchase a single item, the money comes out immediately. Now, as far as a seller goes, the seller gets labels from WhatNot and they ship your box out. But until your buyer receives the items, the seller does not get paid. So if you purchase, make sure you give a positive review so those funds can be released to your seller. I do know right now the fees are under 9%. It's significantly less than eBay, Poshmark, Macari, or any of the others. Overall, I'd say that WhatNot is a refreshing change in the reselling community. I'm super excited this new platform is out there and I really look forward to it and watching it grow. Once you get over there, go look up Angie Resells and give me a follow. You never know when I might be selling on there. All right guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my WhatNot unveiling and review and we'll see you next time. Have a great day, bye.